Bob Hutchins has been tuning pianos for the past 40 years. He's partially sighted. When I left school, I didn't really know what to do with my life. And a piano tuner had recently been to the school and I'd said, what's this job like? I think he was having a bad day. He said, oh, it's all right. Uh, I didn't know what else to do. So I got offered a college place to learn to tune pianos and it's been the best thing that I ever did. I try to get the best I can out of each instrument but I'm there for the customer and I always look to be of comfort and, and help to them as individuals as well as just doing the work. Being partially sighted doesn't seem to have stopped you that much. The only thing that I can't do is drive. I've even flown a plane. It was a 50th birthday present from my wife. Uh -huh. uh, there was a pilot in the plane as well, <laughs> right. but I, I actually held the controls for a little while. So I've done pretty well everything that I would have wanted to in life. Did you pray that God may heal you one day? We've prayed that many times. It would be lovely to see really well. My wife and I are regularly praying uh, on the streets of Brighton and Hove for people that are sick and expecting God to heal them uh, because Jesus asked us to go out, preach the gospel, lay hands on the sick and pray for them. Um, the fact that I haven't been healed as of yet doesn't stop me going out and showing God's love. There's absolutely no hardness in my heart towards God. I'm really glad I've had the life that I've had and I wouldn't have changed it for anything.
Well, in a moment, Stuart Townend and his band will lead the congregation in our final piece of music. It's a new take on a much-loved hymn. And our thanks to Laura, Daniel and Bob for sharing their stories about the decisions that have shaped their lives and made them who they are today. Loving God, we thank you for giving us talents and skills and the fulfilment that working can bring. For the ability to bring help to others, whether they live close by or far away, whether they are neighbours or strangers. Thank you for inspiring us with the immense beauty of your creation. May we use our gifts in your service. Amen. Next week, Russell Watson will be in his native city of Salford. He'll be meeting people along its 30 miles of waterways. And there'll be hymns from St Peter's Church in Swinton.